Well, the Port Vale fans are here for a celebration as victory will see them promoted to League One. Rolls down the left. His cross is headed away to Grimes. His volley is saved by Neil. Good technique from Grimes. Lillis with a pass out from her back. Rolls into the feet of Grimes. He's looking for some support. Ball's back with Cansdale Sheriff. He puts a long ball forward. He's come off the head of the defender. It's going to be an own goal here. Chilvers tried to cushion the ball back to Neil. A real lack of communication and Dale lead. Free kick swung in. Headed down by Pope. Out towards Lee Hughes. He gets the boot from the home fans. He does well though. He lays it back off to Yates. Yates swings the ball in. Pope's up there with a header. The back on terms here at Port Vale. It's all too easy for Mickey Adams' men. It's his 32nd goal of a season for Tom Pope. It's one all on 34 minutes. Rosie's shot is charged down. Dropped out to Bobby Grant on this near side. He's put back into the area. Kennedy from 12 yards out. Fires over. Jason Kennedy should have at least hit the target. Corner ball comes in. Chilvers! He's made an amend for the own goal he conceded earlier. Is that the goal that sends Port Vale to League One? The visiting fans go wild. It's now Rochdale 1, Port Vale 2 in the 89th minute of the game. And surely that is that. And Port Vale will be promoted. Rose on the left hand side. Picks out the youngster, Joel Logan. He's probing, looking for an opening. Got Rose on the overlap, he plays in Rose on the outside. Rose is cross, he's headed away. Only as far though as Logan. Logan's shot is charged down. It drops out to Rose again. Rose on the left hand side. Digs out across. Kennedy! 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 Keith, how do you describe your side's performance today, particularly with the guts they showed to come back there? Yeah, it's improving. I've see, witnessed improvement from since get goal. Uh, so it's what I expected. I thought the first half was very competitive. Two teams going toe to toe. Uh, one each in the second half. I think the game opened up, which was advantage to us. We created op opportunities, played some nice football on a difficult pitch. Uh, but to go two one down in the manner that we did, conceded from a set play. Uh, it was disappointing, but we responded superbly, and uh, I expect it from the players now, because they do want to win, they don't like losing, and I, I, it would have been unjust if we'd lost that game today. Does it highlight just what this team is capable, this group of players are capable of achieving? Yeah, it was a difficult one today, there was no pressure on us, a lot of pressure on uh, Mickey and Port Vale to uh, produce a winning performance, but I do believe they'll get promoted, but there's a lot more to come from our players with pre-season. You know, a stone's throw away in the last two games to come. So, we've got plenty to play for. The future's bright. And your future here as well? It's a, a, a bright and long future? Well, I'm not too sure. I hope so. Uh, I've been in great discussions with the chairman and the board of directors. It's something that I want to do. Uh, I want to start getting the trust back in myself from the players, uh, from my own coaching staff. And uh, we'll be successful. There's no question about that. What do you mean by that? Getting the trust back in you from your, your coaching staff and players? Uh just with respect to myself uh, I didn't want to be out of the game I took this challenge people advised me against it but I'm glad I took it and it, it's good to be back and this is where you see your long term future then it's where I see my present future long term future championship 